When you're trying to create a 510k testing plan, why can't you just copy what the predicate did and skip the pre-sub? It's because there isn't enough information in the 510k summary to do that, and they might have been doing testing to older standards. Instead, we use a 510k testing plan template. It's based on the E-star, and we decide which sections are applicable and not applicable to your device. And then we do six different cross-checks to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Number one, we fill in the E-star to make sure nothing's forgotten. Number two, we look for special controls guidance documents and make sure all those test requirements are included. Three, we look up your classification code and see if there are any standards listed there. Then we look up the regulation and see if there are any special controls there. Then we look up the recognized consensus statement or consensus standards database and see what's listed there under your three-letter product code. And then last but not least, we'll actually look at what predicates did. 